And Diana, this is quite coincidental that all of these security threats occurred today when these new rules go into effect. The TSA says on top of these new rules, they are also increasing security. Passengers are getting more of a personal touch from TSA agents at Metro Airport. As of now, the TSA can use an open palm to check travelers, which, as you can see in this demonstration video, means a much more thorough pat-down. They didn't give me an option. They just said, go this way, and I went through the new machine, put my hands up, and when I went through it, they said, I'm sorry, we're going to have to pat you down. Lisa Susan went through the new security checks during her trip to Washington. It was a woman uh, security official, and she just patted me down. It wasn't uncomfortable, it was just different, kind of strange, new. The new screening procedure is catching some by surprise. I saw a couple of people being pulled and they were just patting them all down. And uh, most people didn't seem to mind it, but uh, they just made sure to explain everything before they touched anybody. They're going all over everybody, but yeah, they explained it and nobody seems to really mind, so I guess it was okay. According to the new rules, you are allowed to opt out of the new pat-down, but if you do, you may be subjected to a digital imaging scanner, which shows security agents what's under your clothing. A worker from Atlanta's airport arriving here this afternoon tells us passengers are doing whatever it takes to stay safe. You have a lot of people that reject to it and they prefer not to be patted down, but if you want to fly, you really don't have a choice. So. And on top of those new rules, as I mentioned, the Department of Homeland Security is increasing security. They just sent an email out to us saying, as precaution, the Department of Homeland Security has taken a number of steps to enhance security. And they say some of those moves will be behind the scenes, so you won't even see it happening. As far as any delays because of the security problems and the terror threats going on today, there are none that we know of here at Metro Airport. Reporting live at Metro Airport, I'm Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.